Hey y'all, another month has passed and it's once again time for another Summer Story Station. Today I have the honor of having Ambit as our special guest star. Thanks for joining us, dude. It's been a bit, hasn't it? You gonna say anything? Ransom said she would give me $300 if I was quiet for this video. Sorry dude, 300 bucks is 300. Are you kidding me? Where does she even have that kind of money? I wrote out my stories. You can just read them for me. Win-win. That's not a win-win, Ambit. You think you can just sit there while I do the rest of the work? Fine. I can't get anyone else here for this video, so you'll have to do, but I get 30% of your winnings. Deal? Alright. Not how I thought this video would go, but here we are. Remind me to give Ransom a piece of my mind later. Anyways, I'll start. I went shooting for the first time ever. It was the 4th of July and I was at a family reunion. We went out to an outdoor shooting range for some target practice and originally I wasn't going to go at all, but everyone convinced me to tag along. I spent the entire time hanging out on my phone, at least until my aunt convinced me to actually try a low caliber gun. I don't own guns so I wasn't really sure what to expect. Turns out that a low caliber gun doesn't really have that much kickback so I could totally control it. What I didn't realize was that the next gun I was convinced to try out was a higher caliber. The dang thing was small, but it kicked back hard enough it almost flew out of my hand. It was a little spooky because, you know, like, that's dangerous. But after firing it once, I realized what kind of grip I needed to have to properly keep the gun in my hand, and it worked out. The third and final gun I got to try out was a pistol that looked right out of a cowboy movie. That one was much nicer to me <laughs> than the second gun. Now, I know I said I was at a family reunion, but Roxanne tagged along with me. Was not a big deal at all because everyone else had friends and significant others kind of visiting throughout the weekend, so, like I said, no big deal. Now, that being said, that's why it's so hard for me to figure out how much family I have, because there's always new people. Roxanne was much more naturally gifted with guns than I was. She actually gave me some pointers on how to aim. They did not help. She told me to aim with, like, the sights, but then I'd aim up at the sky and I would still shoot too low to hit the target. So explain that one to me. Oh, wait, you can't. You're earning a stupid amount of money right now. Whatever. I'm done with my story. So where's yours? <clears throat> this month, Ransom and I went to the new grocery store that opened in Midtown. How's that for an impression? Alright, well, I'm not going to keep doing it. We went and bought... Actually, scratch that. I went and bought... You could have just scratched it out. I didn't need to... Whatever. Okay. A heck ton of water balloons. And we started a huge water balloon fight at the skate park. Okay, that actually sounds like a ton of fun. How'd that work out? Right, I'm reading. Okay, um, Ransom and I were team captains. We split the balloons in half and recruited the kids that were skating. If you got hit, you had to lay there dead until the rest of the balloons ran out or one of the teams no longer had players. Ransom's team won. It was close, but she recruited the smallest kids. Turns out, she's got some strategic thinking in her. I just recruited whoever I could get. Dude, she has hundreds of years under her belt. There was no way. You were going to beat her, man. <laughs> yeah, you stay quiet, dude. All right, so we've gone over guns and water balloons. So July is seeming to be leaning heavily towards artillery. Let's balance it out with something a little bit less weapons based. Like perhaps how Ambit came over and tested out the skate park. He was very sweet to hang out with Penn and helped her learn how to skate. Was she any good? Oh yeah, it took a sec, but Penn was awesome. The whole skate park is really cool too. There was a good amount of flat space so Penn could learn on solid ground but there was also a ton of fun slope size variation. I had a blast. So we were right when we said you'd like the skate park. Cool. I love being right. Oh, the other thing we did for your visit was go out and get pizza. 
Penn is very passionate about the $2 personal pizza from this little restaurant in town, and we had to take Ambit there to go get lunch. Well, I'm done with my summer stories, and Ambit can't spark any last minute conversation, the money better be worth it. So we'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching everyone, we're gonna ditch for now. Ambit's got some money to redeem, and I've gotta go give Ransom a stern talking to, but I'll be back next month to let you know what other fun summer adventures we've been up to. Ambit, say goodbye. Very good. See y'all next time. Have a great summer. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to make sure that you're not missing any of the crazy things we get up to. And hit that bell so that you're double sure you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Bye bye